What's up guys, Chenzo here. Today I'm painting a gold lotus with an abstract background. So I'll start with the background first. Like most of my abstract paintings, I'm going into it without much of a game plan. The only thing that I already have planned out going in is the color palette, which is a few different shades of browns, tans, peach, white, and gold. And I know that I want to incorporate a lotus into this piece as well. With that being said, let's get this one going. So starting an abstract piece can sometimes be kind of weird. It can be difficult to start a journey when you don't know exactly where you're going. So I just started by throwing different shades of brown onto the canvas until I found the shades and composition that I liked. After establishing the background tones that I wanted, it was time to establish a sense of flow and movement. This is my favorite part of each painting and in my opinion, it's the most important. Without flow and movement, a painting can become stagnant and boring. And flow can also be kind of tricky to create in an abstract painting. So the approach that I often take is to avoid trying to create flow, but instead letting the flow reveal itself. So to do this, I started by painting some sweeping lines throughout the piece. Then I just kind of let my instincts take over and continued painting these sweeping lines until I was happy with the overall flow. After working this piece for a while, it started to feel kind of like crashing waves, which seemed a little bit too aggressive, so I kept smoothing it out until I saw something that felt a little bit more like a chill, smooth river, and then I thought this would be a good place to put a lotus. So I headed to my garage to start on the subject image using Rust-Oleum Gold spray paint and some cheap Walmart brushes. I always use cheap brushes when painting with spray paint because the paint does not wash out, which means that these brushes are toast after one use. To finish this one up, I added some white outlines and highlights using a white Uniposca acrylic paint marker.
Thank you guys for watching. As always, feel free to like, share, and sub, and I'll see you in the next one.